Jazzy Green family, welcome. And if you are new here, I am Liz. You're watching Pink Ribbon Breast Cancer Awareness Month Tea and Tablescape. This is hosted by Debbie Bubbles, the Grace Life DIY Home Decor, and Annalise Cupboard. Their co-hosts are Design with Emma, Sandy Lynn Home and Garden, and Deborah Cabasa Home Living. And they have a guest host, which is myself, decorating with Jazzy Green, and also a special artist, Art with Connie. Now, I will have the links to all of our channels in my description box. So please run on over there after you finish watching my video and give everybody some love. Thank you so much. Now, today I'm going to share with you a tablescape that I think is really pretty, as well as a little setup of tea uh, with me and my best friend who's no longer here. Okay, I'm going to do my very best to get through this because it's a very difficult but very important subject to talk about. Some of you may know and some of you may not know, I am a breast cancer survivor and I thank God, I thank God that I made it through the ordeal. It was very, very difficult to go through and I just want to just give you some encouragement i want to make you aware that it is very very important to get your mammograms and to do your self breast examinations if you feel something odd in your breasts don't ignore it ladies please i urge you do not just ignore it and say oh well it's nothing or don't let fear come in and tell you oh i don't need to get checked yes you do because it could save your life by you going and getting checked early before, you know, if it becomes something, at least it won't become so big if you go ahead and get it checked early. So early detection is the key. Back in 2009 is when I was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer. I weighed in at 320 pounds, which I cannot even believe that I allowed myself to get that big. I had just gotten remarried, had a baby and was happy and I was just eating my face off. <laughs> Seriously, not even thinking, what is this doing to me? I don't know, I guess I was just so much in love, I just didn't know what to do. I did not do any self-breast checks and I went to the doctor just to have my well woman exam as I always had and the doctor said you need a mammogram and I didn't think anything of it I'm thinking oh okay great I'll have a mammogram I did not realize that she had felt something when she did my ex with you know when she did my exam I did not know and of course she did not tell me and I'm kind of glad that she didn't so moving forward I had the test and everything came back positive so I had to have surgery to have a lumpectomy which is they took out the lump and this is in my right breast they took it out I had to have chemotherapy which was crazy and radiation I tell you, that chemotherapy, the way it feels in your body is horrible. And I mean horrible. Take my word, okay? I'm a believer of God, so I had prayed. My mother prayed with me. She even went to order me some Mangosteen uh, drink, and that did help. I mean, a lot of people got together and prayed for me, and thank God it was just stage one. But I don't have time to go into it in depth like I would like to because of time's sake. But um, my best friend, Latrice, we knew each other ever since elementary school. She was in my, she was in my wedding as my maid of honor. I don't know, several years back, she got diagnosed with breast cancer. It was stage four. Well, I don't think she had the proper insurance. And it seemed like she was letting time go by. I don't really know all the details. I'm only going by what it seemed. So she didn't really have time on her side or 
the support that she needed. But she had support from me, of course. I prayed with her and everything. And I would always ask her, when are you going to hurry up and get this done, blah, 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 blah. And she said she was waiting for the doctor and all this stuff. It just seemed like everybody was just prolonging or maybe she was prolonging. I don't know. But to make a long story short, she did not make it. I came to the hospital to visit her and she had that look of death and I knew what was about to happen and I was just like so shocked to see her like that and so hurt. I just said, oh God, Lord Jesus, this can't be happening. This is my very best friend. Well, it did. She lost her battle. So with me saying all of that, I'm encouraging every lady, get your mammograms. If you do not know if you should get one or not, talk to your doctor, okay? Talk to your doctor and take it very serious. Let me tell you, cancer is no joke and it does not care what color you are. Whether you're short, tall, fat, or skinny, I just want to encourage you and motivate you. And I hope that I'm doing so. I'm talking from the heart. I didn't plan out what I was going to say. So, but I'm telling you, if I had a lot more time, I will keep going on and on and on and on. But in short, I'm just encouraging every lady to get your mammogram and check your boobies okay if you are obese please lose weight if you don't know how get help ask your doctor reach out to people there are resources that can help you if you are eating fast food and i know this is controversial take it or leave it like it or lump it but in my opinion if you're eating fast food you're killing yourself the fast food, the junk, the carbohydrates, the refined carbs, the sodas, the chips, the sweets, it is not doing your body good, okay? And it puts you at a higher risk of getting breast cancer. So I'm going to leave it at that. And I hope that you got something positive from this video. It's hard to do this video thinking about my friend Latrice. So I just want to thank you all so, so much for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, I would welcome you. Please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below. Please share it. Share it with anyone that you feel that would be blessed by this um, encouragement. Okay. And I want to thank all of the hosts, co-hosts, and artist connie for putting on this collaboration this is a very needed collaboration and i want to thank you guys all my jazzy green families for watching this video you guys take care be blessed and get your boobies checked okay all right bye bye